Hello and welcome to this video where we look at how to calculate the week number of a financial year using DAX in Power BI. Now for the example in this video, we are going to assume that the 1st of October is the beginning of the financial year and the week begins on a Monday. So whatever week that the 1st of October falls into, the Monday of that week, whether it's the 1st of October or prior, will be the beginning of week one. Now I'm in data view of Power BI desktop at the moment, and I have this date table. It's got quite a few columns set up already, the majority of them that we can ignore, but you'll notice on the end, there are two columns of interest. Now we're not going to use these columns in our formula and neither would I encourage keeping these columns in our end solution, but I have created them as a guide for understanding how this formula works. Now the column on the end is just a simple calculation for the week number using a calendar year. So the 1st of January is week one and that function is using Monday as the beginning of that week. The preceding column to that, which says 40 all the way down, is calculating what is the week number of the 1st of October in a standard calendar year, and that is 40. So let's begin. I'm going to click New Column wherever you can find it on your Power BI desktop. It's on three of those tabs on the ribbon and also by right click, pretty easy to find. With this new column, which I'm going to name as uh, financial week number. Let's just scale back that zoom a little bit. And I'll start a new line here. And we're going to create two variables as we're going to repeat a calculation a few times. So this will make our formula more efficient. So VAR and our first variable will be that week number of a calendar year. So I'm going to call it week number and we're going to use the function called week num to use the calendar date column. So our first column of this date table is our, our simple sequence of dates. And we're going to use option two within this function, which tells it that the week begins on a Monday, whereas option one would be your Sunday if that's what you're after. So I choose two and close that bracket off. And that is our first variable, shift enter, on to the next. This next one is for the financial week number. So I'm going to call this uh, variable F week number. And this one is also going to use the week num uh, function. But now we're going to give it the 1st of October of whatever year is in context. So I'm going to bring in the date function to allow me to, to write in a date. And I'm going to use the year function to extract the year of the date currently in question, the date on this row. So what is the year we are talking about, which is actually 2019 in this data set, but I want this to work with, with any data set, more years and different datas. Comma, the month is October, so 10, and the day of the week is uh, one or is it zero one for the first. I'll close off that function and tell it to use option two, so now we have the function that's been used in that start week number column used as a variable here in our formula. Shift enter. Okay, now that we have those two bits of information stored in variables, we are going to return the result of an if function. So we're going to have if. Okay, so what is our test? Well, we want to know if the week number is greater than or equals the financial week number. So is the calendar week number greater than or equals that financial one of 40? Comma, shift enter. So if that is true, I'd like to do the week number and we're going to subtract and let me bring in some brackets for ease of reading this, the financial week number take away one. Comma, shift enter. We will see this on screen when it's done. 
what is the value of falso? Well, that's going to be 52, number of weeks, plus the week number, and then subtract what we had a moment ago. Financial week number, take away one, and let's close all of this off. And we'll see this in action. Just pressing enter, the results are appearing on screen, and we can see that for the 1st of January, the answer is 14. So it performs that logical test. Is the calendar week number of number one greater than or equal to financial week number of 40? No. In which case, do the value of false. So 52 plus the calendar week number of one, which is 53. And we'll subtract from that the 39. So financial week number 40, take one is 39. So 53 take away 39 is 14. And that's what we have for that week number. But if I was to quickly scroll down to October, we will see that here we go, that the financial week numbering in 2019 began on the 30th of September. The 1st of October fell onto a Tuesday, so the previous day was that Monday, and there it is. So for the value of true, we do the financial week number 40 take away one is 39, 40 take away 39 is one, and that begins the week numbering. So I hope this formula makes sense. Pop it into your model, look at your data. That will help us understand it. But for now, this can be used as a template uh, for your work. And all we'd have to adjust is the date that's been fed into the financial week number and also what day of the week your week begins on. So this one uses a Monday. You may have a preference for the Sunday. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to receive the latest videos. Thank you and see you again soon.